So this is going to take like a whole bunch of disclaimers because what I want to talk about this week picks up off of um, Brian and I have had several chats in, in, in kind of chat and as the game has a lot of returning players and a lot of new players and we have Delibrum where um, so much damage is avoidable and the rate at which a boss goes down is dependent on so many people in parties that are not role restricted. Um, when players have different expectations of reality and we all share an instance, um, it's very unlikely that any of the 24 people feels that that went exactly the way they wanted it to. Um, all you can focus on is you, you guys that have been hanging out with me in stream have known that I put little challenges on myself. Can I make it through all the bosses without taking a single Voln stack? Um, can I make it through without, you know, getting killed a single time, which sometimes when you get killed, like it has to do with other people's choices, especially when you're main tanking. And like, there are things I could do to avoid that could have reflect on the bar. I don't have reflect in my lost actions box right now. And so like, like the question becomes like how far along that sliding scale does player responsibility step in and how far can I just toss that blame down the river and just say, well, this other person did it. Um, and so I got shown a clip this week that I guess kind of brought this conversation to the forefront and, um, uh, so let me give some context. Um, first of all, the clip is from another streamer. Um, and they are, are self-proclaimed. So like, I've never watched their streams before. So maybe this is their style of humor and I've missed that. But before I show any of their information, I just want to make this like super clear. Like from my perspective, this is something that they've invited this conversation in. And like, maybe I'm reading that wrong. Um, I think that when we talk about games, Learning a rotation is not common sense. People say that all the time. No, no, based on your years of gameplay, you have such a foundation of gameplay that it's common sense, okay? People assume touching a hot stove burning you is common sense, and yet as children, many children have to touch one stove before they know as adults not to do that. Rotations are substantially more opaque than that. There is nothing in the game that burns you for doing a bad rotation. You can make it all the way through MSQ. Right now, for those of you that don't know, I'm leveling up a character on ARR um, to make it through the new player experience now. And as a test of, do you really just need to do MSQ? I'm doing MSQ. No job quests, which means my warrior is trucking. I'm like over halfway through ARR at this point. And uh, I don't have Tomahawk on the bar because I did the first job quest because I required the experience and that's it. I did nothing else. So um, I wanna go ahead and show this person's bio just to like show why I feel that they're saying that this is something that they're inviting at least a conversation on. Um, and then the clip, because I think that gives some context here. So first of all, we have um, the streamer's name is Zerulia. Not somebody I was familiar with. Uh, I'm constantly asking for more 14 creators. And I think what it is, is I'm not checking all the time slots on Twitch. And uh, the YouTube algorithm is only feeding me. It's fed me enough creators at this point that it's like, I got you. It's like, no, no, I want more. And so I'm having trouble finding more. So if you guys want, uh, I, I think there should be all kinds, both kinds that I get along with and kinds I don't. So like, feel free to drop uh, links down below to any YouTubers that you think I haven't seen. I'm continuing to check the browse section on Twitch, which I at least appreciate that that works better than the 14 page on YouTube. So Zerilia says that they are an MMORPG addict since 1997. Um, I don't know when I first, mine's probably 2004. Um, started in Ultima Online, that's one I missed. And they have played and dominated every MMO to date, every single one. Um, Having put over 15,000 hours in WoW, I don't know my total hours on WoW, but I bet it's less than 15,000. 4,000 hours in, in 14. Um, I have, uh, on my main, I have 92 days. So something less than that. Uh, 3,000 hours in Old Republic, which I have never played. 
um, and then countless server and world first spanning 20 years. So by all accounts, this person is objectively measurably better than me at MMOs, uh, will have a wider knowledge base, will have a deeper knowledge base, and will have a higher level of capability. Um, I have in-game rated in WoW, um, but we were not world or server first competitive. Um, you know, maybe top 100 sometimes, uh, within NA, maybe, probably not, um, back when that probably wasn't as hard as it is now. So, like, were we on the, the cutting edge where, like, strategies weren't widely posted and accepted and all of that? Yes, but, like, there's a big group of people that are on that, that cutting edge rating, right, where they're, they're progging that are not... Um, that are not world firsting. That is a whole nother cream of the crop. Um, and so I, I think, you know... This is this is a pretty strong bio. So once again, not knowing if this is somehow being sarcastic, that's that's a pretty strong bio that they're gonna know their stuff. So when I come in here, I would expect them to have the same level of knowledge on fourteen um, as asking Zeppelin who savage raids on stream, Spofy who savage raids on stream, and Happy who savage raids on stream. Three people who who stream, you know, doing content at three very different personality types. Um, and so that gives them a huge range, right? So like I'm coming in as open-minded as possible. I've only been exposed to the one clip. So here we go. So they've got their clip here and um, looks like it's gonna be the wrong size. Okay, so here's the clip in question. And the reason I had to give all that disclaimer is because like this clip chooses to show their name, um, right? I could try to hide the face and just show the audio, but like they have their name and they choose to um, call out the other tank, even though the other tank is is not in their, their party. Um, and I got this off the Twitter of the other tank who seems to take it in good fun. And so like, I don't feel that I'm like, further mocking that tank um and then this tank is claiming to be from the high ground and so like i guess the sarcastic part of me is like how can you mock the high ground you can't and so like i just wanted to kind of show all that um this is all coming from a standpoint of like i don't claim to be the expert at tanking i'm happy to show beginners what i know because i know more than somebody who's never played the game before um but like my rotations aren't perfect i i know that um, so there we go. Um, and making fun of their name, but then having Twitch TV as your last name, um, tw having, having Twitch TV as like your last name in a game, like I already think is like, that's a very like self promo type thing. Like it's, um, it's an exaggeration of itself. So it's, it's just like, it's, it's like if a YouTuber like made fun of somebody for getting sponsorships, but then said, be sure to hit like follow and subscribe like like it it it's a meme of itself um so like it all comes from a weird place for me um uh, because i don't really feel that they're beyond criticism here so here is what got clipped from their stream all right i guess beck smith over here is gonna main tank all right bex okay so he's in oh no nope, now another tank's tanking oh now we got main tank oh this is gonna be a tank battle and he's cool. frustrated that the other tank is taking threat now in Deliverum, there is no requirement. Yeah, we got main tank tanking. Whoa, party. look at him go. And that's not even the tanking question. I love it. So there's I no reason it. to care about main tanking in this content. Should I just be a dick and keep provoking? Yeah. There's very little so. I think we're gonna do positioning it. on most We're just gonna bosses. be a dick and we're gonna provoke every time provokes up. Drag the lizard into the middle is probably the biggest one that matters. And don't face the cone on some of them towards everybody else. So no, you're not main tank. No, I'm main side. tank. Yeah, let's go, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be that guy. Let's go, you ugly little warrior. No one likes you. All right, you're a garbage tank. So you're not the main tank. Frustrated that they're taking threat. You can't even spell. Look, I hate him. I hate this guy. Now, you know why I hate this guy? You know why I hate this fucking guy? Because he plays a fucking Harothgar and he named himself Main. M-A-N-E. Because he's a goddamn like lion cat character. I hate it. I hate it, dude. I hate him. I hate this guy. It makes me want to puke. Gross. So, I wanted to show this because this shows that like, we're talking about somebody that's choosing to invite that criticism, in my opinion. They're choosing to say like, hey, 
I am above this. And so if you have a question, come ask. And so like, I'm not saying we should go make fun of them. We should go rip on them. But like, they clearly feel that they're, they're prepared to be the adult in the conversation. Um, in that like, they're ready for that. Now, here is why this clip gets people frustrated because this person is calling out the other tank for being the problem okay in a party where they have three tanks there's at least one other tank somewhere in another party there's four tanks across 24 people this content none of this matters none of this matters um it, it just it just doesn't um i don't think this is savage make sure no this is not savage i couldn't see with the little things in the top this is not savage. So literally none of this matters. This content is clearable with any comp. You could clear this with 24 DPS. You could theoretically clear it with 24 healers. I wouldn't want to be in that party. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter. So we watch their MP. Right. I guess Bex Smith over here is going to main tank. I right, use Bex. Ticks back up. Oh, no. Now another tank's tanking. Oh, okay. now we got main Here's tank. Main oh, this is going to be a tank battle. frustrated that the MP cool. is sitting. Now, you do want to keep some MP around for the Darkest Night, but now it's back at Cap. Yo, we got One, main tank two, tanking. Whoa, three, look at him go. Four, five, six. I love it. Seven. I love it. Eight, nine. Should I just be ten, a dick and keep provoking? Eight, yeah. Let me just check. So. Let me back up here and make sure I'm using the actual seconds. Okay, so the last time that they were not at full mana was at 14 seconds in the clip. The next time that they are not at full mana... Alright, right here. Hey, let's go, bro. 43 yeah. seconds. Hey. So for 30 seconds... This person is ripping on another tank, being mad that they're pulling threat, that their enmity is higher, after claiming to have world first, server first, 4,000 hours on this game, 15,000 hours on a game that claims many times to be mechanically superior, has played every other major MMO, um, and just went 30 seconds without doing a core mechanic to Dark Knight. Now, I do not think that core mechanic is made obvious. I do think it's in the tooltips, and I think when you read it, it's got 30 second duration, it costs mana, not that many other things cost mana. Hey, maybe I should keep these cycling. Once you explain that, yeah, that makes sense. The game doesn't punish you for sitting at full mana. It doesn't reward you for sitting below if, since you don't have a damage meter, right? That's not allowed. And so like, it, it is not made clear um, in a way that, like, I think every new player needs to feel like total garbage um, if they're sitting at full mana on Dark Knight. Literally the entire duration of a dungeon. Like, it's fine. The content is tuned so that that doesn't punish the party. You could clear any four man in the game with full mana on a Dark Knight from start to finish. It doesn't matter. But, if you're going to claim to be better than somebody else... You cannot sit at full mana. You can't. You're leaving an enormous amount of damage and therefore enmity on the table. Um, so you're frustrated that they're doing this. And like, I'm not going to sit here and analyze the rest of their rotation. I'm not going to sit here and, and say like, you know, let's call out every single mistake. I make a preposterous number of mistakes. Sometimes I take a break from a game like a week before the patch so that I come in really fresh minded and then we put out day one guides and in day one guides I haven't played in a week so even my natural number of mistakes is increased and as I'm editing the guide I'm watching my rotation I'm like you're garbage like what are you doing just talking about my own gameplay. Um, and then I post it out and somebody of course points it out in the comments and it hurts my feelings even though I knew it was there. Um, and so like, I'm not saying everybody should be playing without mistakes all the time. The game is tuned to be unbelievably forgiving. This content scales you up and down so that you're at the appropriate eye level no matter what. Um, everybody is in here is the same strength unless, unless they have the Bojan gear or whatever, in which case I think they're better. So they're all at or above the requirement. We have role actions to make up for weird things in the party. 
they've got two healers. There's a thousand tanks to dump to, so if you go down, it doesn't matter. 99% of the, the damage in this dungeon uh, is is avoidable, and so it's just a question of can you do mechanics, and if you miss one mechanic, as long as you're good until that Vuln stack falls off, there's really no punishment for it. It's just a warning stack that says, hey, if you make another mistake, I'm going to kill you. And then after that thing falls off, then you can make another mistake again. So you could make one mistake every two minutes, um, and you would never die. Like, it's fine. Uh, you would just you would just survive forever and ever. Now there's a handful of big tank busters that if you don't have lost actions on the bar, um, and you don't pop tank busters, like they hit for like 130, 140k unmitigated, and um, I think and like tanks because they're all scaled to the same gear, all have like 110, 120 thousand life, and so if you don't pop a tank buster, um, and you don't have a lost action, there's there's no form of of mitigation on you, it'll kill you. Um, especially if you're not like, even if you do have mitigation on, you kind of need to be healed up. So if you're down at like 30% life and another tank doesn't provoke, you're going to get screwed. But like to rip on another tank here, I think really accents one of the issues that people are frustrated with in the community. And it's that everybody else is wrong and you are not. And I think rather than focus on that and rather than try to correct it, because I want to show this as an example of like, if we did correct it, there aren't people without blame. There's nobody that's perfection all of the time. But even in that circumstance, the answer to this clip, the answer to this video is not to go tell this Twitch streamer that they're the problem. It's not to um, worry about, it's not that Square Enix should issue this person a ban. Um, the, the tank in question has clearly seen the clip because I got this exact clip of their stream from that person's Twitter uh, account. Um, it, it is, the answer here is to realize that none of this matters. It's a game. This game is tuned incredibly casually. So if you want to play at the best of your ability, do that. And then the caring should stop right there. These aren't people in your voice chat hanging out with you. They're not in your party with you. Um, they're not in your eight man, which clearly like you could have brought them because you have three tanks in there. So like if you want to bring a friend and talk trash with them, go nuts. You want to compare parses in your static, go nuts. But to bring this into the game and make fun of other people, it, it makes the community worse. But then we don't gain anything because this content is clearable. It's not like the choices that either of these players is making is affecting the likelihood that this run was anything but a first clear. There there could have been no full party wipes across this entire dungeon, and they could have done that, not just on this first boss, but on every subsequent boss. Uh, it doesn't matter. And, and, and I know people are like, but healers need to DPS, and tanks need to have better DPS, and you know, they don't. They don't. Like, if they want to do objectively more damage, yes, they do. But you went in here with Party Finder. You get who you get. And and the game doesn't require it. I am leveling through MSQ without Tomahawk on my bar right now because we always tell people, just do your MSQ. And I'm wondering, is that even possible? Um, I'm realizing I should have been more clear because I'm following my directions to the letter. And I'm realizing all these things that I want to do. And I'm like, no, you didn't list that in your list of requirements for a new player. The game didn't list that in its list of requirements for a new player. And so it's giving me exposure to like, what would happen if somebody just wrote down the things that I and many others say um, as what new players should focus on, and they followed it to the letter. I wrote it down, asked no questions, and just followed that blindly. And um, I'm finding you out-level the crap out of the content. You kill things in like three hits. With gear, the game just feeds you. Like... There is no there is no requirement to get better. So when people assume that somebody makes it to level 80 because they don't know how to play because they skip potioned, no, I am making it there in the most pure way you can. A brand new character going through MSQ, running each dungeon once. This is what the game teaches. This is the way. And I am telling you, it does not require you to get better. 
this game does not require good gameplay. It offers good gameplay. So once you feel you want to get better at this game, once you feel you want to self-proclaim yourself as an expert, once you want to move into extreme, savage, ultimate, you want to start pushing the boundary of what you are capable of, then yes, if you have not sought improvement at all along the way, there are probably many aspects of your gameplay in which you're going to need to focus. That is things like positionals. This character in the clip is is moving out of out of positionals or out of out of, of avoidable stuff. That is learning your rotation. That is learning how it interacts with other players. You know, when I watch people clear Savage and they're calling for abilities to be cast on other players outside of that person's core rotation. Um, and that's not just res, that's that's all sorts of things. You're tossing shields on other players and all of that. It, 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 there is a lot to learn here. There is a ton, there is an immense deep ocean. Um, but if somebody wants to pick this up as their very first game and is intimidated by all that, they can start by just playing the base game. And the base game is unbelievably, almost frustratingly casual. Um, and so I just wanted to kind of address that because this clip really just kind of summed it up. And it's something we've been talking about and it's incredibly frustrating to see that like this person probably went to bed at night feeling like they have the high ground and the person who tweeted it out probably feels the same. And the question is like, okay, but if we just continue down this path everybody memeing on everybody else at what point does this get better like what part of making fun of either of these people improves the player base what part makes one of these players play better moving forward i mean maybe maybe you make one quit and that's considered a good outcome shouldn't be what improves it um and and the answer is actual communication with each other and not just memeing on each other without A, looking at your own self and seeing, am I making mistakes? And B, actually looking for somebody that's like-minded and wants to communicate back. Not everybody wants your tips. So find people that want your tips, find people that offer good tips to you in return. Um, and and it's, it's a community choice. The game does not require it. Should it? I don't know, that's a different conversation. But the game doesn't. The way the game is tuned, it, it allows for casual players to enjoy all the content they want to get to, unless they want something like a Cerberus mount. Um, it, it allows access to 99% of the content in the game without ever learning a rotation. That's not me saying it should or shouldn't be that way. That's not me saying that's a good or bad thing. That's me objectively telling you that's what the game is. If that frustrates you, that's a you thing. And I'm not saying it doesn't frustrate me. I don't mean that as a criticism. I'm saying, like, it has no impact on the game. You thinking it's good or bad doesn't change the game. You thinking other players are good or bad doesn't improve them. So, like, we either need to invest in our community or, or we need to learn to accept it as it is. One of the two. Otherwise, we're just dooming ourselves to slowly hate the community and the game more and more and look up and suddenly blame the game for something that's not the game's fault and say, ah, Final Fantasy screwed me. It's, it's got such a bad community or it's got such stupid gameplay or whatever. Game didn't change. It's been this way for a long time. It's not new. Players in games will be at varying skill levels. They always will. The world is not filled with less common sense now than it was in 2000, 1980, 1960, 1940. People only know what's taught to them. As children, we touch hot stoves. I know I did. It's not common sense. I don't think that phrase accurately describes anything about a video game. Doesn't teach you how to right click, doesn't teach you what a rotation is, doesn't teach you what a cooldown is. Like, are there tool tips? Sure, but reading and comprehension are two different things. So like putting the words on the screen is not, you can't just toss a textbook at somebody, tell them to read it once and then just walk away. That's not how our education system works and for good reason. So I, I don't know. 
I just wanted to come rant about this because it frustrated me. Um, because it just accents so many aspects of how people seem to have their finger on what they feel the problem is, but like none of the ways that anybody's dealing with it are offering solutions to those issues. So I, I think the solution is to start communicating and the solution is to start setting expectations closer to reality. Um, and if you're not going to do one of those, just know you're, you're, you're just going to be mad. Maybe not today, but eventually. Um, so this was not something unique to 14. This is not something unique to this dungeon, to this game, to this genre. Um, it's kind of present across all games. Well, kind of.